Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, if you're not a current subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button because you're gonna like this video and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So today we're gonna talk about the $200 haircut. Yes, I said it, $200 haircut. Now the average haircut, uh, when you go to a barber, uh, we'll say this is mostly for men, usually around $20. The, the national average is actually $28. Now, depending on how many times you go to get a haircut, whether it's weekly, bi-monthly, or monthly, uh, this money can add up over time. And your 20 to 20, 20 to $30 haircut is actually worth over $200 when you think about it in the long term as far as investing your money. So $20 that you invest today, 30 years from now, is worth over $200. So every haircut that you get is $200 that you could potentially have in the future. Now, if you follow my channel, you may know that I'm very interested in investing and I encourage people to invest their savings, uh, put more money into investing than their actual savings once you get that emergency fund filled. So we try to find ways to reduce our expenses and there are small things that we can change every day or things that we do weekly or monthly. And this is the one, one of the things that I decided to change. Now, every once in a while, if I want to just, you know, if I'm going to an event or like a wedding or maybe an interview or something of that nature, you know, I'll still go out to a barbershop and get that fresh, that crisp cut so you can get that nice edge that everyone's looking for when, when you're getting a haircut. But for the most part, I decided that, you know, buying my own set of clippers and cutting my hair is the most uh, time efficient and uh, dollar efficient way to get my hair cut. In the past, I would go and get my hair cut, you know, on payday, I get paid every two weeks and I would go to the barbershop and it would pretty much be like a two to four hour uh, thing, depending on, you know, where I was at at the time. When I was in college, you know, it could be any time from one hour to two hours because, you know, I was very close to the barbershop. It was a smaller town, so there weren't as many people waiting and I didn't have to deal with as much traffic. But in my hometown, being in a larger city, you know, first getting through all of the traffic to get the, to the barbershop. And then once you get there, depending on what time of day you get there, it may be, be an hour, maybe even a two hour wait, you know, depending on where your barbershop is. And then if you're waiting on a specific person, which most people, they're gonna wanna use the same barber every time, that way you get that consistent cut and that consistent look. You know, that could be a, a four hour day just to go and get your hair cut. And then on top of that, you're spending 20 or more dollars to get that haircut every week or every two weeks. So the most efficient thing for you to do with not only with your time, but with your money would be to cut your own hair. And so even someone that's getting their hair cut and let's say we're going to use $20 as our example. So if $20 and you're getting a monthly haircut, that's $240 a year. You can get some of the best clippers out there and they're around the same price as what you would pay for a year's worth of haircuts. The only difference is once you spend that $240, $250 for your clippers, you can use those for more than a year. It's like, you know, after that year is up, if you had gone to a barbershop and you spent $20 a month, you have to spend another $20 a month the next year and the year after that and the year after that. Your clippers could last you 20 to 30 years, you know, if you take good care of them, uh, if you're keeping them clean, if you're oiling them. And so it's really an efficient way, to not only to use your time, but also your money. And there are other things to think about um, as far as when you go to the barbershop. Uh, when you do go to the barbershop, the barber is using the same clippers that he used for the past 15, 20, maybe even hundreds of people. And now I'd say most barbers, they're pretty good at keeping their tools clean, but sometimes you go to a barber and you'll, and they may not clean it between every haircut that they make. So they may, you know, brush off the hair or blow it off with the, the little air blower, but they're not, you know, spraying the disinfectant or, you know, wiping it down with alcohol wipes or something of that nature to make sure it's disinfected. And you have no idea, you know, what the other person before you was doing, you know, what could have been in their hair, anything of that nature. So those are things that you would have to worry about as well 
if you're cutting your own hair, you know how clean they are because you're gonna clean them. And you know how well kept those clippers are because you're the one that's keeping up with the upkeep. Now, one of the things that people worry about with cutting their own hair is, you know, it's not gonna look as good as a professional barber. And that's true. Like if you're just starting and this is your first time cutting hair, you're not gonna get that, you know, crisp look that you would get at a barber shop. But over time, if you're cutting your hair consistently for a year or even a couple years, you're going to get better over time. And the amount of money that you're paying $20 to go to a barber uh, to get a slightly more crisp look than you could probably do on your own. Over time, you're going to close that gap. And, you know, maybe you'll learn a skill to where you can do this as a side hustle. You know, maybe you can make 10 or $20 from your friends or family or coworkers where they're coming to you to get a haircut. Uh, you know, you would want to, you know, charge a little bit less than they would get at the barber shop because that's the only reason they would come to you versus just going to their barber. Or maybe they come to you because it's more convenient because if they go to the barber shop again, they may have to wait an hour or two and they may have to travel farther to get to their barber. So that's that's one way you can make extra money on the side by first starting off by cutting your own hair. And then once you get better at it, you can cut others hair. Another benefit, especially if you have kids, is that, you know, that $20 turns into $40 if you have, you know, one kid that you need to take to the barbershop. And if you have multiple kids, you know, multiply how many kids you have times 20, and that can really add up. And if you're going every week, like there are some people that I know, they get their haircut every single week, every Friday or every, day, every Saturday, they're at the barbershop, you know, they wanna stay crisp at all times, and that can really add up. And we're gonna go into the numbers of what your $20 could turn into based on, you know, getting a haircut every month, every two weeks or every week versus if you put that money into the stock market and you invested it and how much it could be worth in 20 to 30 years from now. Now, if you're a person that's getting a monthly haircut, uh, $20, 12 months, that's $240 a year. You know, not a big deal, but it is, it does cost more than the average good set of clippers. Now you can get the super high end ones, uh, or I'd say the, you know, the high end ones that you can find at a store like maybe Sally's or even like a Walmart or a Target. And it'll probably be even cheaper there than it would be at Sally's as far as like their high end. Um, but you know, I just checked out one website and the highest costing clippers that they had on their website was $240. So you don't even have to spend that much. You could easily just cut your bill in half by buying a set of $100 and $120 uh, set of clippers. And now you've cut your, your barber bill in half right there. And you can do it every week if you choose to versus you know spending $20 a month. Now, if you're spending $20 every two weeks, that's $520 a year. If you're spending $20 every week to get a haircut, now that's $1,040 a year. Now that's a lot of money. Like when you, once you add it up and you really think about how much you're spending for your haircuts, uh, that's a lot of money. One week versus every two weeks versus a month. And do you really need a haircut every week? You probably don't. If you're not in like the entertainment industry to where you're on camera all the time and you feel like, you know, you have to have this crisp cut for whatever reason, uh, for most people, you know, getting a haircut every two weeks or even every month would be sufficient. Now, if you're one of those people that has to have a haircut every week, then it's very convenient for you to have your own clippers. You can cut them literally anytime you want to. Anytime you're at home, your clippers are available to you. You don't have to travel anywhere else. You don't have to go to the ATM to get cash. Uh, you don't have to use, you know, someone's using one of those apps like Square and they're getting that extra fee on top of the haircut and on top of the tip that you're giving. You know, you don't have to worry about all of those things. You can just, in the comfort of your own home, go in your bathroom or in, you know, in a room and just cut your own hair and you can be done in less than 30 minutes. All right, thanks guys. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Again, if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate you being a subscriber. Thank you very much. If you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Hit that like button if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified next time I create a video. Uh, again, thanks for your time. You guys have a great day.